Forecast Center, Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. Today was another absolutely beautiful day with high temperatures close to 80 degrees, but some changes are on the way, and those changes will equal a temperature drop of almost 30 degrees by the time we get to Sunday afternoon. Tomorrow, look for highs in the 60s, 60 ish on Friday, mid 50s Saturday. Only in the upper 40s to lower 50s on Sunday, but we quickly warm up again as we move into next week. Right now, we are looking at 60s and 70s across northeast Wisconsin. 70 degrees in Kiwani, 66 in Manitowoc. Obviously, a little bit cooler with that easterly wind, but still beautiful. 76 degrees in Fond du Lac right now. We've got 73 in Berlin. It is 77 degrees in Clintonville. The time lapse from earlier this afternoon shows abundant sunshine across the area. Just an absolutely beautiful day. Blue skies, warm temperatures, comfortable humidity levels, just all in all fantastic weather across central and eastern Wisconsin thanks to this area of high pressure. But there are changes on the way. We've got a cold front moving in from the north and a system approaching from the south, and the two will join forces over the western Great Lakes by tomorrow afternoon to give us a chance for some rain. You can see showers and thunderstorms here from Minnesota all the way down to Missouri. The activity is scattered, so we're not looking at a huge rain event across the Badger State during the next 24 to 36 hours, but we will see some wet weather. The satellite picture this evening shows lots of sunshine here across eastern Wisconsin. Central and western Wisconsin are covered by a lot of cumulus clouds and some high level clouds streaming in from the south. This system is approaching from Kansas and this cold front is approaching from Minnesota and ahead of those today it was warm. Temperatures were in the 70s to around 80. Underneath them and behind them, it was much cooler, only in the 60s and lower 70s. And that cooler weather will start to work in tomorrow. Most spots will be running about 10 to maybe 15 degrees cooler than what we saw today. Lower to mid 60s across the far north. Across east central Wisconsin, looks like upper 60s to lower 70s during the morning. And then actually falling off as we make our way into the afternoon. Precision cast shows sunshine mixing with some clouds tomorrow morning. That'll continue until about noon, then the clouds will completely thicken up and we'll have a good chance for some showers and thunderstorms. At the same time, we're going to see a gusty northeast wind develop off the bay and the lake. As far as precipitation totals are concerned, they look sporadic, probably a quarter to a half an inch as uh, these showers and thunderstorms make their way across the area. And then behind that system, we've got another system moving in Friday night into Saturday morning, and that's going to bring much cooler weather for Saturday afternoon and Sunday. So tonight, increasing clouds, upper 40s. Tomorrow, thickening clouds during the morning, and then showers, maybe a rumble of thunder as we move into the afternoon, turning windy. High temperatures during the morning will be in the 60s to around 70, but then falling off as we head into the afternoon. My three degree guarantee for tomorrow is 69. If I can hit that high within three degrees, we'll donate $100 to loaves and fishes of the Fox Valley, and we did that today. I forecast 79. The high temperature was 79 degrees. Maybe a lingering shower early Friday, then increasing sunshine, strong cold front on Friday, perhaps a few showers, maybe an isolated shower with mostly cloudy skies on Sunday afternoon. Frost is likely Monday morning, and then we start to warm up again, 70s and 80s by Tuesday and Wednesday of next week with a chance for some thunderstorms. Each day I come into work, I think maybe Cameron today will improve that weekend forecast. It's just not happening. No, it went the opposite direction yeah. today. Darn it. Yeah, there's enough evidence to support that some of us will not get out of the 40s on Sunday, and that's why I'm keeping a high right at 50. All right, I just have to accept this now yeah. and move on. <laughs> still ahead on NBC26. Four days and counting. We have some great local.